We're the NFC TV with Chris Agata following today's win against Western Supermare in the National League South. Aggie, three points, three goals, clean sheet, more or less the perfect performance <clears throat> today. Yeah, very good, very good. Um, the result that the performance deserved, I think. Um, we've, we've had two um, disappointing results off the back of two decent performances. We, we challenged the group to be better in both boxes. We, um, you know, we, we, we felt there was an awful lot right with what we were doing, but it, ultimately it was the most important parts of the pitch, both boxes where uh, we needed to improve and, and we saw big improvement today. Um, Temi, Mo, Cash, the attacking players will uh, rightly so get a lot of credit, but I thought defensively we were very good today. I thought Alfie Young, Cookie, um, Beardy, Paco, when he come on along the back line, really solid um, defensive display. I thought Joel Colbran dealt with um, Pearson, who's a very, very good player, dealt with their sort of main threat really well. So, uh, yeah, very, very good performance. Yeah, just, just highlighting and picking up on that. I can't really remember them having a shot on target. There was maybe one from outside the box, but didn't really have a sniff. Uh, there was, it was one at the back end of the first half, which was very frustrating. Um, and we spoke about that at half time because that's the sort of thing that has cost us this year. Like, you know, you're winning the game 2-0. Um, in control against a very, very good Western side who are up the top of the table for, you know, it's clear, it's clear to see they're, they're, they're a good side. They've got a lot of good individual players. They're really well coached. I mean, Scott and the guys down there have done a fantastic job. So, um, and they broke away back end of, back end of the first half and you know, Pearson's got a good chance and, uh, you know, Nicky Wheeler, to be fair, has got back in, but it, sh it, it shouldn't have happened. And that's the sort of, um, lack of concentration or defensive laps that's, that's, that's cost us so but touch wood that was the that was you know that was the only real opportunity I thought they had going forward immense today created mm. so many chances there was yeah. one key man in, involved in most of it and that was Tommy Babalola came yeah. into the side today and had a point to prove I guess mm. and, and he's taken the opportunity with both hands yeah Tommy's been excellent he's been knocking on the door for a while um, <clears throat> when he first come in we we needed him to play because uh, we didn't really have any alternative and uh, Harrison was out injured so he probably wasn't fully fit. Um, obviously with Mo coming in it's given us a bit of time to work with Temi and get him up to speed physically. Um, he's almost had like a pre-season in the last six weeks and he's obviously dipped in and dipped out and whenever he's played he's never, he's never let us down uh, and I thought he was superb today. I thought him and Mo and Cash as an attacking, uh, attacking trio was uh, was really exciting. So uh, yeah, um, very pleased with. And it, again, it wasn't just three individuals up there. It was it was really connected. There were some really good combinations. They were um, linking off of each other's movements really well. Loads of good opposite movements. <clears throat> I just I just had the feeling that if I was their centre halves, I think you know two really good centre halves as well. Like good players that have kept more clean sheets in the league than any other uh, team, which is a big reason why obviously Western are up there. And they, if I was them two today, I'd be thinking, Christ, no thanks. They were an absolute handful. So yeah, very happy with, uh, with Temi and, uh, and the attacking trio threat in general. Climb back up into the playoff places today yeah. with that win as well. I guess that is a sort of reward for the performances in recent weeks where we haven't had much reward in yeah. terms of results, but that today was was everything that the squad probably needed. Yeah, it just makes it even more frustrating that we haven't. Like my, my feeling is that the performances like early on in the season, we've won a couple of games where you think got away one there a little bit. Like Lux fell on our side, and you know I've been around it long enough to know that can happen. I just felt the last sort. Of, few games in the last period really in general been playing really well except for the Chesham game um, and yeah I just feel like it's a bit of a what, what could we have what could we have done like my, my feeling is is could have had nine points this week and we could be well um, but you know we're uh, we're probably a reflection of like I said um, uh, earlier in the week we're probably a reflection of the the top of the table in general it's so inconsistent it's uh you know, win a couple draw a couple lose lose one it's the you know obviously true i've dropped points today i think we're 
six points off top of a game in hand. Salisbury on Tuesday is our game in hand. So, you know, we're, we're right in amongst it. And that's what I've said to the players. Um, but there is a feeling of frustration because you think we perhaps uh, could be in a better position than what what we are. But um, equally, we're, we're right in amongst it in around, obviously, Christmas time and uh, in a decent position to attack attack the top of the table in the new year. The challenge now is to go on and, and make it a good run of form that, that sees you at the top top of the table into the new year. Um, starting with Salisbury on Tuesday, yeah. what are your thoughts heading into that one? Uh, yeah, tough. I mean, they've won 5-0 today. And uh, <clears throat> we've, what, I've, I've probably watched Salisbury more than any other team this year because I really like the way they play. Um, I really like how they're set up. Um, Again, they're very well coached, very well organised, um, play some great football. Like they're a really, really good watch, so um, we know what we're walking into uh, and it'll be really tough. Um, but if we play like that, then the, the, the challenge was after the Morecambe game. You know, obviously we'd lost the game, but you know, everyone that was there knew what happened that day. We just need to replicate that and if we can do that consistently, then you've got to be a hell of a team to beat us and it's the same like today if we can replicate that against the, the, the best team in the league so far this season which I believe Western are then you know, we're taking six points off them I've said to the players again there's no excuse we, we know what we can do it's just a, about getting ourselves into a headspace where we can deliver that consistently I mean we've got the, we've got the players we've, we've got the squad I mean we've got a couple of suspensions but um, as you saw today Paco coming on right? we've, we've got real depth in the in the group you know we've got no excuses um we just need to as i said find that consistency and, and keep banging that drum um so yeah salisbury would be tough but uh you know we've we, there's an awful lot to take from today and we're, we're really excited about that game and we look forward to it and we just want to get back out there again and, and try and put more points on the board uh, <clears throat> another thing i'm really pleased about is our home form as well our home form's good that was that was something that whenever um I've been part of successful teams and that have, that have challenged and gone on to win things. It's it's often been off of the foundation of a very good home record. So I think we've won the majority of our home games, league games. I think we've only lost one at home. So we're building a bit of momentum. I think teams know to come here is is uh, is tough. And you know, we, you know, you know, if you're coming to Woodside, you know, you, it's going to be a tough day at the office. So I'm really pleased with that. And I, I, another thing as well today, I just, I've just seen him walking out. I want to mention Jack Spong as well, because early on in the season, he was getting loads of plaudits for his free kicks and all the rest of it, which rightly so, like brilliant. But I think he's, um, the last sort of month, six weeks, I think he's, he's been our best player, him and Sam Beard. I think they've been superb. Um, so today, Temi, Cash, Mo will get plaudits, rightly so. But I thought Spong, he was superb today. And I think he's playing incredibly well. Um, and... Again, he's not doing the, the highlight stuff of bending it in the top corner, but in terms of helping us control the game and, and dictate and be on the front foot, give us a platform to consistently attack. Spongy's been superb. And, you know, Temi got MOM today, but I think Spongy was in amongst that conversation because, uh, and I think he, uh, he deserves real acknowledgement because I think he's playing really, really well. Thanks, Jack.